Hey guys, Fortnite Season 2 Myths and Mortals is out for a week now and I want to create the awesome Zia skin with clay and then bring him to life with claymation. Clay clay. Today's project was different. I spent seven days, a whole week on this project since the new Fortnite Season 2 in Chapter 5 came out and in a minute you will understand why. We will not only create Zeus, we will also bring him to life with claymation and I can't wait to get started. After I have read so many comments of you guys asking for me to create Zeus, I started right away after the new season started and I also want to share some knowledge about the father of gods in Greek mythology Zeus is the king of the gods and resides on Mount Olymp. Mount Olympus, sorry. <laughs> he is known not only for his mighty thunderstorms, you have seen that in Fortnite, but also as the protector of order and justice. His weapon is the lightning bolt, which he uses to punish his enemies. So he's a real tough guy, the supreme god. <laughs> Today's creation I started with aluminum wire. Now I am coating it with grey clay and I try to bring in some beautiful wrinkles to make it look authentic, to make it look like real fabric. I'd like to talk about the skin design which we have today on Zeus. It is one of the most complex skin which I have ever created and he doesn't really look like that because it's just a few colors. But there are so many design elements on the boots for example. It's driving me crazy to get all the details. Honestly, I think Epic only created this skin to mess with clay creators. Ah! Everywhere hidden on this skin I find lightnings, the symbols of lightnings and it is created in different layers. On the boots for example, later on on the chest plate and the armor and it took me some while until I understood, fully understood how to create all these beautiful elements on Zeus. Now that we finished the lower body, let's put him into the oven. It's like saving the progress because now I can't mess anymore with the details and I am cutting open the joints so that we can move the legs and even the hip and just testing it out if it is suitable for animation. Hit the bell, subscribe it would mean the world to me also to read your ideas down in the comments what you would like to see made being next as clay figurines maybe even with stop motion or claymation which is the same so just leave your ideas in the comments always happy to read them with my modeling tool I try to capture all the beautiful elements of the chest plate and guess what? We have some more lightnings on the right and left side which I also try to bring in. It definitely is one of the most crazy skins which I have ever created and I thought about creating Poseidon first. Thanks. Right next to the neck we can see through the armor. Um, what I'm creating with black clay right now is the layer underneath. And with this beautiful wrap around the neck he gets an extra layer of protection. And it's also a lightning. <laughs> Now that I'm in the process of finishing the armor, we have some further elements to create. This is going to be the gun belt, because it's a Fortnite skin after all. <laughs> and we will create it with a tiny pocket and four bullets. 
with red clay. And then we have two grenades, which will go to his left side. I'm not really sure what type of grenades we got here. Maybe some of you Fortnite players can help me out and leave it in the comments. Zeus had many love affairs. Zeus is famous for his numerous love affairs with goddesses and mortal women, resulting in many famous heroes and other gods. For example, Hercules, one of the most well-known heroes of Greek mythology, and he's a son of Zeus. Well, probably you already knew that. <laughs> These stories highlighting the human aspect of the gods, and they are even central to many myths. Now I'm creating the grenades, still no clue what these really are. And I also want to highlight these tiny lightnings on the tiny um, pocket, which we are adding right here. Let's now switch over to skin tone. Besides the head, we have to create his strong arms with so many muscles. And this is what I really like about this skin. It's not only the muscles, but also the armor and why did I stop speaking? You won't believe that, guys. <laughs> right behind me is an, an aquarium and one of the fish tried to escape. He's still inside. <laughs> I was just disturbed by the splashing noise and... Well, it seems like he didn't jump out. Um, by the way, this was the aquarium which I used for the Aquaman tutorial. Me creating a clay figurine right inside the aquarium. After hand mass production, we can test the animation. We have three states of hands. R wide open, slightly closed and then the fist. This also means we have to create all the details six times, which are going right on top of the hands. And with the needle as a placeholder, I make sure that later on, after oven hardening, I can stick the lightning into his fist. Guys, it just happened again. I think one of the fish jumped into the waterfall. This made a weird noise. When I started sculpting, human faces were my nemesis. It was so hard to make them look like a real human face. And today I think I may have improved here. I not only want to create Zeus' head, but also want to make him movable. Want to make the mouth movable for the animation. Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan for today. I'm adding the beard right now. This is my last piece of knowledge, which I want to share about Zeus, the Prometheus legend. One of the most famous myths about Zeus involves Prometheus, a titan who loved mankind and brought them fire, which he stole from the gods. As punishment for this theft, Zeus had Prometheus chained to a rock where an eagle would eat his liver every single day, which then regenerates each night. <laughs> What a cruel torture. This story underscores Zeus' stern, yet also protective character traits. And it always sticked in my mind. Um, I think I heard this many, many years ago when I was in school. I am right now adding the hair. And when you look closely, you will also recognize the shape of lightnings in there. The crown emphasizes once again Zeus' role as the father of gods. 
but also the king, king of gods. I read both. Not really sure what is the more accurate description. And once again, some more lightnings in the hair. Maybe someone has counted all the lightnings which we have created today. <laughs> Next up is the skirt and this material is taken from a real skirt from crystal it's fake or real leather i don't really care because i'm recycling it anyways and right now i'm using the metallic marker to paint beautiful lines and we will take the scissors afterwards to cut these lines Later on, during animation, I'm pretty sure these thin leather stripes will move. Sometimes even not on purpose, but hopefully it will give a beautiful stop-motion effect to the whole skirt animation. Now I am painting the last detail for the character itself with blue and grey pen, the camouflage effect on the trousers, which is now covered by the skirt and we're adding the grenades on the left side, also adding the hands and the hat. Now that Zeus is finished, I will use this metallic marker to make his armor really pop out, to make it even more shiny. And for the Thunderbolt, I'm experimenting with different types of wire. A stop motion animation works quite simple, frame by frame, image by image, which are quickly shown right behind each other. The illusion of movement starts to appear and this is the exact same method I'm also using on the lightning. So let's try out if it works. I can't wait to get started animating. <laughs> I've been working for hours on the animation of Zeus and I can't wait to see him come to life and move. I spent two nights on this full animation. It would mean the world to me. Please subscribe to the channel. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>